Well, hello everyone. How is everyone doing? It is Mercer Self here. Today, we are checking out Snarled. Now, I actually checked out Sapphire's channel before. If you guys haven't watched that video, you guys need to, all right? Because in that video, I said you need to check out this YouTube channel and go and subscribe to it. Sapphire basically makes like a bunch of uh, all types of videos, all right? I mainly enjoy the ones where she's p telling like animated, like short uh, stories where like it's like horror themed, okay? Like some of them are like really creepy, okay? Okay, and I just love watching them, all right? So yeah, we're gonna check out some of more of Sapphire's videos. If you guys haven't already though, go to our channel and subscribe, all right? It means a lot to her. All right, the first animation we're gonna be checking out is from her Ghost Guy series, Watch Out for the Kanshi Naki Oso Ona Ona. Kuchisaki Ona. Kuchisaki Ona? Kuchisaki Ona! All right, something scary. Oh, guys, I'm, 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 I'm prepared for something scary, okay? No, it's okay, guys. I'm gonna be brave. All right, chapter two, Kuchisaki Ona. Huh? Kuchisaki. During the Japanese Heian period, around a thousand years ago, a, th a, a thousand goddamn years ago. Jesus Christ, an old ass story, man. Do you guys ever think about all the people throughout history that have once lived and now and now dead? You know? Do you guys think about that? No. Okay. All right, moving on. During the Japanese Heian period, okay. around a thousand years ago, long time. A samurai ago. was married to a beautiful woman. Oh, samurai! Oh, oh, hello! I'm samurai. You are beautiful woman. Marry me. Oh, okay. I'll marry you. <laughs> she was the object of everyone's affection. Oh, she's and a she hoe. knew it. Oh, she knew she it. Would That's right. I'm all pretty. Look at me. I'm so pretty. And she knew it. Damn, she knew it. She would walk Damn. around town and oh. ask those who stared. Oh. Am I pretty? Am I pretty? No. Uh, uh, no, you're ugly. I don't like you, okay? I, I would say you're ugly. All right, say get out of my face, you stupid bitch. Okay, I'm kidding, guys. All right. Am I pretty? Uh, sure. The you're samurai pretty. was not? not happy with the attention yeah, she was Yeah, I, I don't blame him, okay? My wife's going around town saying to, like, men, Oh, am I pretty? Oh, no, you like me? Hmm, I have a suspicion right now that my wife could be cheating on me. <laughs> well, yeah, no shit. I probably, I probably guarantee the next thing in the story is is that she's gonna cheat on him i should probably do something but i, I don't know the samurai was uh, not happy with the attention she was eliciting don't blame him and when he discovered Honestly. she was being unfaithful what <laughs> he wanted her to pay <laughs> no i called it no poor guy my wife is not gonna cheat on me i swear i swear uh, uh, oh no, uh, wife, uh, 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 wife, uh, uh, why would you do this wife? <laughs> We're turning this horror story into something funny and, and I don't know why. And when he discovered she was being unfaithful, oh. he wanted her to pay. Uh oh. One day, oh. armed with a knife, oh. he attacked her. Oh. He pressed the blade into her cheek ah. and slit her mouth ear to ear. Ah, oh my God, ah. So from, from like from here to there, Ah, ah, imagine being cut there, guys. Ooh, ooh. He attacked her. He attacked his own damn wife. He pressed wife. the blade into her ah, cheek well, and watch it again. her mouth ah. ear to ear. No. Leaving her with a bloody, twisted grin. Ah, you will no. think you're beautiful now. Oh, no. Soon oh. after, she died. What? And returned to Earth as an angry spirit what? named Kuchisake Ona. Kuchisake Ona? The slit-mouthed woman. Oh, my, uh. In the late 1970s, the? a countrywide panic broke out after what? numerous people uh. claimed to have encountered Kuchisaki. <laughs> wait, wait, it was on the news now? <laughs> she just died one day and a thousand years ago, and now for, for some reason she's now on the news? <laughs> attention, attention! If you see a Kuchisaki on her, all right, this girl that died a thousand years ago, uh, just, just try and run away, okay? Uh, this is the news, okay? Goodbye! So a thousand years later, in the late 1970s, the night, a countrywide panic broke out after numerous okay. people claimed to have encountered Kuchisaki. We're all seeing Kuchisaki More everywhere. More police officers were assigned to night duty. Oh. Students were required to walk home in pairs after school. People <laughs> okay. took extra precautions to avoid this vengeful spirit. Okay. Because any encounter would be deadly. How do you avoid a spirit? If you are walking alone, she oh. will appear around a corner. Wearing a trench coat and a surgical mask. No. In Japan, her attire would not seem out of the ordinary. Whoa. Since it was common for people to wear such masks to prevent the spread of germs. Oh no! You will assume she is just an ordinary woman. But then she's gonna... Then, uh, she will approach uh, you oh no, and ask. Oh no. uh, uh, uh. Am I pretty? Yeah, yeah, sure, you're pretty. If you say... Uh. No. Oh uh, no, 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 no. She will no. pull out her long pair of scissors uh. and kill you on the spot. Uh. I just been stabbed. Uh, guys, Kuchisaki Ana got me. She got me. Kuchisaki.
Chisaki, I don't know. I'm sorry. Ah. Oh, no. She will pull out her oh, long no, pair of scissors again. and kill oh, you on oh, the spot. Oh, damn. And if you say <gasps> yes, what do you say yes? She will bring her face closer. Oh no, 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 no! I don't want to see. I don't want to see. Oh. To reveal her disfigured mouth. Uh, Am I pretty now? Uh, sh sure. No matter how eat. you respond <gasps> afterwards, your fate will remain the same. She's gonna kill me anyway. However. A few school children discovered a way to trick Kuchisaki. Wait, wait, what? Okay. When she asks her question, oh. responding with an ambiguous so so. So so? Would confuse her long enough for you to make your escape. <laughs> that, that's, how, that's how you defeat Kuchisaki, guys. All right, you guys have heard it here first. Okay, just say so so. Huh? What are we talking about? So so? What, what, what does that mean? So so. <laughs> so so. Would confuse her long enough for you to make your escape. <laughs> Oh. Do you dare to try your luck? Damn. Yeah, just say so. Beware so. the wrath of Kuchisake Ona. Damn. That one was pretty cool, guys. Honestly, I mean, I know I was making fun out of it a lot. All right, probably a bit, bit too much. But honestly, that was really cool and really spooky. All right. Yeah, like, he, like that's what I'm talking about, guys. You don't, he, like, we forget about all the stories that have happened, like, thousands of years ago. All the people that have died and lived and all the curses and witchcraft and, and shit like that that has happened on this crazy lifetime on this world. What am I talking about, honestly? All right, the next animation we're going to watch, guys, is my mum's dating a serial killer. Huh? Uh, okay. Uh, 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 let's just, uh, what? When Mitchell was about 12 years old, uh, his mom Susan was set up on a blind date uh, with a woman named Elizabeth. Elizabeth. It went pretty oh, well, no. so Susan introduced her to Mitchell. Uh, From the beginning, Mitchell had a weird feeling about her. Okay. It felt like she didn't quite know how to interact with children, so she was always a bit distant and cold. Meanwhile, she was showering Susan with gifts and acting pretty clingy. A week after Susan and Elizabeth started dating, the three of them went to Susan's friend's wedding. Elizabeth wore a baggy tie-dye shirt and basketball shorts. Okay. A very odd choice for a formal occasion. Right. When they got there, Mitchell's eyes grew at the sight of all the food. Oh, damn. His eyes landed on the platters of shrimp. Damn. But Susan reeled him back into reality. Oh, Don't eat any shrimp. of the seafood. It was cooked with peanut oil. Oh, peanut oil. Mitchell sighed in disappointment. Oh, but I'm allergic. He Come on, bro. Shrimp. I was oh. allergic to peanuts. Oh, damn. All right, I love shrimp too, guys. All right, yeah, shrimp. Could eat them all day, honestly. And yeah, I love peanuts too, all right? Damn, I feel sorry for people that have a peanut allergy. Peanuts are the best. I love peanuts. It was cooked with peanut oil. Oh. Mitchell sighed in disappointment. Yeah, no peanuts he loved for you. shrimp, you but was allergic boy. to peanuts. And no shrimps for you too. Later in the evening, Elizabeth oh. approached Mitchell at the table. Oh, no. Holding a plate of shrimp and smiling widely. What? Look. A guest, a guest brought, brought some, some seafood, seafood cooked, cooked without peanut oil. No. Isn't that lucky? Your mom asked me to bring this to you. Your mom. Enjoy. Oh, no. She placed the plate in front of Mitchell and walked away. Your mom's girlfriend. Mitchell looked around to see if he could spot his mom to kill and get her nod of approval. But he couldn't see her. Oh, no. Being a young kid, he didn't overthink it. Yeah, because you trust adults because you're a dumb kid. It was just as delicious as he had hoped Don't it would be. Don't trust adults. So All he right. ate another. Oh. And another. Oh no, oh no, no, no. And so his throat swelled up and couldn't swallow anymore. I'm sorry. No, actually, you know, you wouldn't pass out. You'd just be like, oh, no, no. And another. Oh no, no, no. So his throat oh. swelled up and couldn't swallow anymore. Oh my god, that Susan spotted hurt. Mitchell across the room, covered in hives and struggling to breathe. Oh. And she quickly called an ambulance. Oh. Once Mitchell was okay and everything had calmed down, Whoa. Susan scolded him. I told you not to eat the seafood. Why didn't you listen to me? But your stupid it was girlfriend. Elizabeth. Yeah, Elizabeth. She said he didn't have peanut oil. Yeah, you got she peanut said oil. you told her to give it to me. Yeah, you don't. Me. Oh, Susan shit. looked over at Elizabeth. Uh oh, crazy oh, bitch. Poor kid. Crazy. He's delusional from the medication. What? Don't call me delusional. A week later, Susan called things off with Elizabeth. Whoa. She believed Mitchell when he told her that Elizabeth had tricked him. Whoa. She couldn't stand the thought of being with someone who would intentionally cause harm to her child. Hell yeah. So just to be safe, they changed their number so Elizabeth couldn't get a hold of them. Damn. Years had passed changed and they had forgotten number. about Elizabeth. Until okay. this past summer, <gasps> when they turned on the news. The news? 
Her job was to care for the elderly and comfort the ill, but former nurse Elizabeth Wetlaufer is now one of Canada's worst serial killers. She's the real? they called Beth was charged today with eight counts of first-degree murder. Four what? counts of attempted murder and two counts of aggravated assault. What? She had killed their loved ones. All what? by way of insulin overdoses. In a chilling confession to police, Wetlaufer claimed they were annoying. Wetlaufer was found guilty of professional misconduct. To, uh, make sure that this woman gets the justice she deserves My. because she had no right to do what she did. I think she's sick. Literally sick. What? Oh <laughs> my god. What? No, it was real? The whole story was real then? Oh my gosh, she was real. She killed her loved ones? Oh no, no, I'm scared, guys. That one actually did scare me now. Now that I know that's real. Damn, man, yeah, watch. You don't know who, like, people are deep down. Man, now that's, that's, now that's real, that is scary. All right, the next animation we're gonna check out is Bloody Samurai Wedding. Oh, it's a bloody samurai wedding, oh my god. Hey, I'm Sapphire. Hey, I'm Sapphire. Wanna hear something scary? Oh, 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 yeah, I missed the song, man. Love can be a very scary thing. Yes, it can. This is an old ghost story from Japan about sweet revenge. Sweet It was revenge. first told in the form of a kabuki play in 1825. Damn. There once was a man named Iyamon, who was Iyaman. married to a loving and devoted wife named Oia. Oia. He was a okay. ronin, a samurai who no longer had a master because oh. he had a murderous past. Uh. And now, he was a poor umbrella maker. <laughs> How can you go from killer to umbrella maker? All right, surely you would be just thinking about, oh shit, man, I wish I was out there killing people, not making the stupid umbrellas. He was a poor umbrella maker. <laughs> Since they were no longer financially stable, oh. he grew to resent his wife. Oh no! Then his neighbor lured him into an evil scheme. No. My daughter Oume is in love with you. If only you weren't already married, you could be with her and be wealthy beyond belief. What? Iamon was a garbage human, and so he liked the sound of that. And so he started <laughs> gonna, plotting ways to kill his he's wife. He's gonna kill his wife? He didn't want to be charged with a murder, so he had to figure out a way to make it look like natural causes. Oh my god. He decided god. that he was gonna poison her. Oh my god. <laughs> he wants a younger wife, so he's just like, no, I'm just gonna kill my wife, you know? All right, it's much easier than just telling her, wife, you know, I think we should, you know, if she other the other people. People, you know. Okay, all right, that's fine. As long as I can just live my life. No, no, actually, no. I'm just gonna kill you now. <laughs> he decided that okay. he was gonna poison He's her. He's gonna poison her. So sure. the next night, they oh. sat at the dinner table together. Yeah. Then. And then. He offered her a spoon. Uh oh. It's medicine to help you get stronger. No. For you and our baby. She's pregnant she was a little too. Hesitant, but poor Aaliya was so trusting that she took the spoon and drank the poison. No. At first, her nothing baby. happened. But then, oh. her hair began to fall out into clumps. <laughs> her eyes drooped and began to fill with blood. Oh. She fell into a coma, which really pissed Iamon off because he wanted her to die already. Days later, she awoke. She had oh. almost forgotten what had happened, but then she went to the bathroom and saw what she had become. Oh my God! She had lost her beauty and her baby. Oh. Iamon still tried to keep up his concerned husband act. Let's go on a walk to your favorite place, he said. Oh no, he's gonna kill So they walked to the edge of a cliff, no! overlooking the entire- Why? Her favorite place just so happened to be at the edge of a cliff. No, why couldn't she just pick somewhere safe like the park as her favorite place? No. To your favorite place, he said. Oh no. So they walked to the edge of a cliff, no. overlooking the entire town. Oh. It really was a beautiful view. She, uh, and while Aaliyah uh, was trying to take it all in with her blood-filled eyes, <laughs> He pushed her over the edge. Oh no! Iamon arranged an elaborate funeral for Oia to throw everybody off his scent. But wow. now that she was out of the picture, he began to plan his wedding with his new bride. Wow. Now I'll be rich again and everything will be perfect, he thought to himself. Iamon thought he had seen the last of Oia. <gasps> He could not have been more wrong. Oh. He began seeing Oia's distorted face everywhere. Whoa. She appeared on a lantern, oh. and so he shattered it. Oh. She appeared in a mirror, oh. and he shattered that too. Yeah, good. But good he then let Oia ruin his new life with Oume. Oh, on the day of his wedding, Oia had not appeared. The ceremony went perfectly. Okay. Iamon turned to his new wife, but it was not Oume who looked back at him. It was Oia. Oh. He drew his sword and... Oh. Everyone stared in horror as the head of Oume rolled down the aisle. Oh, he killed his Iyaman new couldn't wife. believe what he had done. He ran outside, out to the edge of the cliff, and cried. Oh. The wedding attendants ran after him, 
just in time to see a woman push him over the edge. What? Oh! What? So, so, so he died then too? He killed his own new wife and then died? Wow. Oh, jeez, man. Okay, yeah, that story was just getting more and more interesting. What the hell, man? All right, the next animation we're going to check out is Beware the Law of the Daragju. Der 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 Okay, guys. All right, just just watch it. All right. Damn, man. All right. So this is the one, another one of the ghost guides. One. All right. So I'm guessing it's a series of ghosts. Okay. Many centuries ago, there was a woman who lived in the town of Waterford, Ireland. Waterford, Ireland. Her lips red like a rose. Oh. Her hair yellow as a sunflower. Okay. Her eyes green like a four-leaf clover green like a four-leaf clover oh my god what a pretty girl it is girl is like a four-leaf like a four-leaf clover she wasn't just beautiful on the she outside she wasn't just beautiful on the outside she had a kind and gentle soul to match Aww. and while she could get anyone she desired there was oh. only one man that she wanted oh a humble peasant boy who lived nearby a peasant? And while she didn't care about money or status, Aww. it was all that her father and family could. Aww. Her marrying a man of less status than her would be unacceptable. Whoa. So her father forced her to marry the incredibly wealthy and uh. much older clan chieftain. Oh. He kept her locked in a room in a tower <gasps> so that he could keep her all to himself. Oh no! He only entered to feed her oh. and bleed her. Oh. He liked to press his knife against her smooth white skin. What? Slowly, ah! pressing harder and harder ah! until drops of crimson poured out. Why? She hated it. Ah! And she hated him. Well, no shit, she hated it. All right. Ow! Why is this guy just randomly just cutting his wife up? What a weirdo. She hated it. What? And she hated it. No him. bloody shit. The only thing that kept her going wow. was the thought of the peasant boy. The thought of the he had told boy. her that he would come and save her. Oh. And so she waited. Oh. And waited. No! And waited. No! But he never came. No! It's so sad. The poor little old peasant boy forgot to come get his bride. And then she turned into a ghost. Yes, she did. That's the rest of the story now. Yes, you did, little. I'm a oh, I'm a leprechaun. <laughs> but he never came. Oh, but he never came, guys. This so is she started so sad. hiding the meals that her husband gave her. Whoa! So and she over could time, die? her rose red lips faded to grey. No! Her sunflower hair wilted to the ground. No! Her clover green eyes lost their luck. The four leaf clovers! There was an old Irish practice of placing stones on the graves of the recently deceased Whoa. so that they would not rise again. Damn, zombies. And for whatever reason, on the night of her burial, the townspeople did not cover her coffin. Whoa. Some say it's because they felt guilty for not doing anything to save her from her wicked husband. Whoa. And they felt it would just shame her even more. Poor girl. They remembered her as the kind, forgiving woman she was. Oh. Unfortunately, oh. that's not the same woman who rose from the grave. Wait, now she's a wait, now, now she's a zombie, guys. Yeah. Oh my goodness, she's a zombie. Seriously. Okay. Wow. Who sooner saw this coming? All right. She just wanted to marry a poor little old Irish peasant boy. But then she ended up turning into a zombie. Wow. Unfortunately, Unfortunately. that's not the same woman who rose from the grave. Oh. <laughs> she was now the Darug Dua. The Darug Dua. The red blood sucker. The blood sucker. While you sleep, wow. she will sing her siren song. Uh, and in your vulnerable state of mind, you will be lured out of bed. Wow. Into the cemetery and to her grave. Wow. That's when she will steal your blood, oh! just as her husband had stolen hers so many times. Oh. The only way to prevent her from rising every night is to place stones upon her grave before the sun sets. Okay. But sometimes, <laughs> the locals forget. <laughs> How can the locals forget? It's just Beware one job. the thirst of the dark Dua. Wow. So she turned into a vampire, not a zombie. Okay, all right, wow. I did not see that coming, guys. All right, never would have heard of the Derek Dua. Poor girl. All right, moral story is, all right, if you have a crush, 
just shoot your shot, okay, guys? All right, just you might have a chance, all right? Otherwise, you know, that you might turn to a demon, all right? Or they might be a demon, I don't know, or a vampire. I don't know, guys. All right, guys, we're just gonna check out our very last animation now. Uh, it just says, don't save the baby. Help, something's not right with this baby. <laughs> What's the, okay, that sounds funny, guys. All right, let's, let's watch it. Nina had been babysitting oh. for the past two years. Nina. But nothing could prepare her for the events that took place fairly recently. Whoa. One night, she was looking after a one-year-old baby. She's a babysitter? She was on the okay. phone with her Aunt Janice while watching the baby play with his toys in oh, the corner. Oh no, this baby. I'm gonna be here pretty late, but they're gonna oh. pay me extra, so it's worth it. Oh, uh, okay. Okay, just be careful when you head back home. Some trees fell into the road during the storm, so there's a lot of accidents and traffic. Uh, I have uh, to go. The baby's crying. The baby's crying. Alright, Nina. Let me know if you need help with the baby tonight. Nina went there's over to the baby, baby to see what was wrong. No. But when she tried to lift him, he didn't move. Oh. Uh. It baby? was like trying to pull magnets apart. Baby? He felt so heavy. Uh, like some force was keeping him on the ground. Baby? She what tried to pick up? him up again when she heard, Don't touch me. What? <laughs> the baby just talks. Okay, guys, it's Bus Baby in real life. Bus Baby is now a ghost story. Wow. Don't touch me. Oh, don't touch. Sorry, she Bus Baby. Back. Damn. Did that Sorry. just come from the baby's mouth? Come on, Bus the Baby. The baby's eyes had turned completely white. Whoa. It started rolling on the ground. Oh my gosh. Towards the wall, and then suddenly he was on the ceiling. Uh, Nina had no idea what was going on. <laughs> no but she idea. Knew it would not be good. What? She frantically called his parents, but they weren't answering. What? She you ran into dead. another room and called her aunt. Um. Can can you, can you please come over? Yeah. There's something wrong with this baby. <laughs> What's wrong with this baby? He's possessed or something. Please, I'm freaking out. Whoa. No, I'll be there as fast as I can. Okay. Yeah. The traffic's pretty bad, but I'll do my best. You Just gotta... stay where you are and pray. Pray? No. Later, get out of there. There was a knock on the front door. Uh, that was fast. No. Nina thought to herself. No, no, no. Who is that? Aunt Janice it's was boss, carrying baby. a Bible, a rosary, and holy water. Aunt Janice Lock is here. Lock all the windows and doors and stay in that room until I tell you to come out. She's going to exercise this baby. and locked herself in the room. A few minutes later, there was a knock. Oh, my gosh. Nina. Uh, it's all right to come out now. No, no, no. Something it's didn't boss, feel baby. right. Is everything okay? No. How's the baby? No, boss baby. The baby is just right. The demon got away very easily. <sighs> It's a demon. Oh no. It was Aunt Janice. <gasps> hey, I'm on my way. Are you still okay? What? I thought you were. Me. I want to see if you're safe. I thought you were. Hey, what? Aunt Janice. Uh, uh, there's someone here that looks exactly like you. What the? Uh, How is that possible? I'm stuck in traffic. Whoa. Oh my God. Nina, that isn't me. Get uh, out of the house. Now. Yeah, get out of the house. Nina what? mustered up all her courage and pushed the door open, grabbed what? the baby, and ran outside the front door Screw and hid in the bush. Screw baby! The baby okay? was crying uncontrollably. I ain't give a shit, ass baby! She stayed in the bush until she saw the red and blue flashes of the police cars. Wow. Her aunt was right behind them. Whoa. When the parents came home, Nina tried telling them what happened, but she wasn't making any sense. Whoa. Possession? Demons? They didn't believe in those things, and they weren't sure what to make of Nina's story. <laughs> they paid her the money they owed her, Damn. and Nina was pretty sure they'd never hire her again. Wow. Which was completely fine with her. Yeah, sure. All right. Damn. Yeah. All right. Yeah, I don't want to look after no down mask boss baby. Okay. All right. Especially if it's going up on the around on the walls and the ceiling. Like, what the hell? All right. Yeah. All right. Screw it. Okay. Yeah. I would not babysit this dumbass baby. Okay, guys, that was me checking out the amazing YouTube channel, Snarled. All right, go over and subscribe to their YouTube channel right now. All right, making some amazing videos, guys. All right, I know a lot of you guys have already checked them out and are already good fans of this YouTube channel. But either way, though, guys, thank you guys so much for watching. Leave a like if you enjoyed. You know, if we reach 30,000, might do some more type, like, videos like this in the future. Either way, though, guys, thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you in the next video. Bye.